Did he call again? Three times. It's probably some bored freshman. Well, what does he even say when you guys pick up the phone? Uh, you think this place will close down? It didn't close down when the kid died. What kid? He was epileptic. And he had a seizure because of the strobe lights. Collapsed on the floor and then got ran over by the speed skate session. Where was the last place you saw Wendy? She was out by the payphone. That was from a Halloween party a while back. I just get the hell out of the girls. Who's there? Where's Kara? The movie we're going to talk about today is called Death Rank in 2019. Here's a storyline. The closing staff of a local roller skating rink find themselves being stalked and slashed by a mysterious figure in their midst. Directed by Daniel Zubiate, written by Daniel Zubiate. Here's the cast. Amanda Courtney as Alicia. Cademan Holland as French. Alan Humphrey as Mike. Kim Johnson as Kara. Catherine McCoon as Rachel, Robert Posey as Daly, Meg Smith as Wendy, and Ian Troy as Spaz. And the cast goes on. Folks, you know me by now if you listen to my podcast. My podcast debuted in August of 2010. And I based my podcast off of low budget. And anything that I love the most is low-budget films that have a great story. And I'll say this. This movie is about a crew at the end of their shift at a roller skating rink with their boss getting ready to close for the night. You know, stories are being told amongst them, and then Rachel, Catherine McCoon, starts telling them stories about, you know, how a babysitter brought their brought this kid into the rink and she didn't realize that the boy had um, gets a seizures, and with strobe lights, the child had seizures and died. And then talk about how the how the business survived lawsuits and so forth. And kids would be kids about sex, um, fighting each other. You know, it's just a really cool movie that took place in 2001. Believe it or not, 2001 is 20 years ago and it seems like eternity. If you see the style that it was made, I mean, I'm a big 80s guy, obviously, because of of my age group. I really dug this film. My podcast started on films just like this that are low budget. You know, the special effects aren't the greatest, but this movie has heart. This movie has blood, sweat, and tears. And I fucking love this film. It's a really well shot, put together film. Being that this is a slasher movie, you know, they get picked off one by one. The kills were unique. Um, They're not, you know, if you watch this, you understand that it's not a really high budget film, which, trust me, I don't give a fuck about that. I still love the aspect of this story. So you have a lot of shit going on here. You know, you have somebody picking them off one by one. But then when you find out who the killer is, it comes full circle. Fucking brilliant. I don't know what it is about roller rinks. About a killer in a roller rink. I don't care about, you know, how the kills were. I don't care. I fucking love this film. Any film lover, when they watch this film, if they understand independent filmmaking... They will understand this film. If not, they're not going to like it. And shame on you. Great cast. Shot very well. So basically there's a killer inside the roller rink. But who is it? I don't want to say who it is. In case you haven't seen it. 
but you'll be surprised. It's a well put together film once again. Great job by Daniel Zuby. My saying for films like this, it is what it is. And I love this. Great job by Catherine McCoon as Rachel. She was the boss. There's some sneaky shit going on, and you'll find out who the killer was. I love this film. So definitely check it out. It has a cool DVD cover. <clears throat> that being said, definitely check it out. Death Rank in 2019. I give this film an 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed this movie. As I said before, the characters in this movie are typical teenagers that are... That really don't know what the world's all about yet, but all they think about is sex, you name it. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.